What's up guys, so with Season 4 came out two brand new guns, the Submachine Gun, the Fennec, and the Assault Rifle, Numbers, Letters, AMAX, right? That's what we're gonna call it, the, the AKV2, AKV2, that's what we're gonna call it. But I uh, got this thing, Damascus, or Gold, and uh, that was pretty much my class setup. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure everybody's running around with the, pretty much the same class with the Fennec. Um, the 40 rounds, just because 25 is just ridiculously low, and uh, that integrated suppressor barrel that increases range and decreases recoil with Merc 4 grip, no stock, and then I was running sleight of hand. Um, either sleight of hand or red dot. Uh, I, was, I think I was using red dots to get the headshots easier and the long shots a little easier, but uh, definitely I think sleight of hand's a must because even with sleight of hand, the reload time is is like ridiculously slow. It's, it's weird. I don't know what it is. Uh, maybe I'm just too used to using like the AK reload speed where it's just real quick, simple, easy. But uh, yeah, the reload speed is kind of it's kind of long, so uh, I think sleight of hand is one of those things where it's a uh, if you especially because you run out of ammo so quickly, even with the 40 round mag, uh, sleight of hand is just a must. You know what I mean? But uh, in in terms of how good the gun is, I don't know. I've been hearing people saying it's overpowered. They want to use it so bad. I don't really care for it. Um, I mean, granted, up close you're gonna absolutely fry anybody, but. Once you get out of like spit range or slap range or shotgun range, uh, you, it's like shooting a BB gun. It's it is ridiculous how weak this thing is. But I mean, up close the thing just fries. I mean, you kill. I'm pretty sure you, the only thing that can kill you up close is like a sniper or a shotgun. Everything else you're pretty much gonna outgun. Um, I did. I do not like this thing. I'm gonna say that thing. Yeah, I do not like this thing in Warzone. I mean. Unless they're literally in that distance where you've seen me right there, if they're any farther than that, this thing is just a pure BB gun. It is absolutely, like right here, I feel like in this situation, right, with any other sub, you gave me an MP5, you gave me an Uzi, I would at least down the first guy, and I think I would have got out with my life. You know what I mean? Like, there's a bunch of these uh, clips where I'm showing where I feel like if I was using any other sub, the MP5, the Uzi, the MP7, I feel like I would have won the majority of those gunfights, you know, I don't, so far I haven't been in a situation where I felt like it was because of the Fennec that I won the gunfight, you know what I'm saying, like all of these clips you're seeing in Warzone when I'm getting kills, I pretty much could have done that with any sub in the game, and uh, the, it's literally the only advantage is when you're right next to somebody, right on top of someone, right next to somebody, and other than that it's just... I feel like you get fried by anything else. You just get absolutely fried. Uh, another thing, connection felt like a big difference with this gun. Usually, I can usually I can tell when I'm on shit connection, right? But for this gun in particular, if I was playing over a 130 ping, I was just not even using it. Like it was just, I I, I don't know. The feel of it was just kind of ridiculous on the high ping. You watch all of these gameplays, especially on Warzone. I'm on a 150 ping, and you can kind of hear. The delay, like it's not a hit scan. Like I don't even know it's a hit scan. I don't know if it's a hit scan or it's supposed to shoot projectiles after a certain distance. But my goodness, like even close quarters, you're hearing that delay of the f you shoot and then you hit the ta 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 right with the hit markers, and that that really throws me off. And in general, just throws me off. Um, it just feels like like right there. I know I was missing, but I felt like if I was using like an Uzi out. I wouldn't have missed all those shots. You know, it's like so much easier to control left and right. It's weird, like when you when you hold down the trigger, it pulls up kind of hard, and then it kind of does some weird. I don't know. It's just weird to control left to right when you're trying to adjust the aim. Like, I, I don't know what it is. You know what I mean? Like, I'm usually just trying to use my strafe to move left to right because if I'm trying to use it with my actual gun, I just completely miss and I end up dying. But yeah, one thing I noticed on a, on a bad ping, this thing is like unusable. Um, and for me, that's I'm playing on a one over a one fifty over one thirty ping, like over sixty percent, sixty to seventy percent of the games I play, and uh, the other the other thirty would be under a hundred. You know what I mean? And that's eighty to a hundred, and it was decent. It was decent. Maybe that's the reason. You know, I don't. I haven't used this thing on really good ping. You know what I mean? Maybe that's why people think this thing shreds. But. Uh, yeah, not not really a big fan of it. It's fun to use just because it's a new gun, right? It's kind of stale using all the. I'm. I mean, I don't like using the exact same gun over and over unless it's like a sniper. But I guess it's a new change, good change of pace. Um, it's kind of like the Black Ops Two Scorpion, right? Like I remember the Black Ops Two Scorpion. You'd fry anything up close, but once you got 
to a certain distance, it was just BBs. And this kind of feels almost exactly like it with like a little better handling and then you can put the um, the integrated suppressor. That's pretty cool. I like that feature is probably the best, right? Where you give like that integrated suppressor that does both um, range recoil reductions on both sides. That's, you know, the stability and the, the accuracy and the control. You know, you get the, you get the bar sliding. But um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I almost got the Galil Gold maybe in a couple videos. I don't think it's going to be the next video. But definitely in a couple of videos, I'll try that out because I haven't I haven't used it in Warzone yet. And I'm thinking that's probably, I mean, so far, it's it's one of my favorite assault rifles in the game. I mean, because I'm just such a big fan of um, the AK and it feels so much, it just feels like a better version of the AK. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, you know, I'm excited to use that in Warzone, see what happens. And uh, hope you guys enjoyed. You know, leave a like, comment, subscribe. Deuces.